What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more One Piece. Today we're doing episodes 155 through 158. We ended off with Nami going into the sacred grounds, not where we're supposed to go, you know, of course. But we're in Skypea. We're in Crazy Town. We got shells that power stuff. We got angels. We got gods. I'm super excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts in that comment section down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Check out that Patreon for early access and the full uncut versions up to eight episodes ahead. Let's hop right into it. One Piece, episode 155. Let's do it. All right. Asking the important questions. Yeah, you mean like... The God, right? Eniru. I've heard that name before. The Almighty God Eniru. I just literally wrote down Eniru. God. That's what gets me suspicious. I feel like God would want you to see him, you know? I'm a little curious. Oh god, now you got Luffy wanting to go there no matter what. I know, you need to see it. True. You seek repentance, right? Well, then we should probably go get Nami. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. Should probably go check, maybe. I don't know. Gotta be some damn big trees. She hears talking, so she's gonna go investigate, I'm assuming, which is not what we should do. Yeah, but it'd be great to check, you know. She's nervous, obviously. She doesn't want to get in trouble going there. I'm assuming this is the boat of the squad we just heard talking, looking for treasure in the upper yard. Oh, it's the sound conch. Yes, the one that repeats sound. The tone dial. She doesn't know about the dials because she's been driving the waiver the whole time. Mmm. That's kind of eerie. Sounds like he went Super Saiyan. Straight killing these people on the voice recorder. Now Nami's like, oh shit, where am I now? Oh god. <laughs> so we have someone in the upper yard running away from the, this angel, who I assume is whistling to other angels. Who could this gentleman be? Oh, that could be something that made claw marks in that boat. Oh, someone else who uses a bird, kind of like a uh, Gonfall, the Sky Knight. So he came so close to making it out of the yard, but what's going to happen to him now? What are these guys doing? Who are they? Is that the other waiver? The beat down one? Yeah. I mean, Connie's did say theoretically dials can be used permanently if it's not damaged, so we should still be able to use it. Okay. There we go. So you're the most qualified person to fix it. Oh, Bazooka Man is back. And he wants to fight Eniru. Or at least he was saying Eniru in like a negative tone oh my god 
This guy looks like he should be like Adventure Time. Like the art style for the big guy is so funny to me. I would be so nervous. We got a big ass bird, big ass dog, and a big ass dude. Uh oh. Oh, bazooka man. I don't think he's shooting a Nami though. I think he's shooting past Nami. At at who I'd have to assume are uh any ruse like lieutenants. I'd have to assume those are right under him. Oh, I want to see his face. That was his name is Gorilla. That might be God's wrath. That dude is dead. Either that's a really intense, cool looking teleportation transfer uh, power, or that dude is getting eradicated. Oh, yeah. He's getting eradicated. Varth. Verth. I love how black and white and desaturated this is. Now all the colors come back when he's done like smiting the world. Like what the hell? What in the flying? That dude's just ice skating off. Okay, lovely street. That's their salute. Okay. Captain McKinley, the white berets. They're talking about us. Who's the fourth? I didn't even notice the fourth before. And so now Nami is hearing this. Yep. So now she knows that they. Yep. So there's four lieutenants, four right hand men total. I'm curious. This is a whole different place we stepped into. This is a whole different ball game. We got God any roofs biting people. Choppers is good, don't get me wrong, but goddamn, Usa, you need to be like an artist. I just noticed he put a crown on his head. Sanji. Uh-oh, the white berets are here. That's not good, because we don't want to get Connie's and uh, Pagaya in trouble. We don't want them harboring illegal, uh, I don't know, illegal entryers. What? What the hell are they doing? Those are weirdos. I've never seen a weirdo in person before. I'll humbly bring heaven's judgment upon you. I'm a little less worried about their heaven's judgment than like any ruse, you know, but it's still interesting. All right, on to the next episode. This should be 156, uh, something like that. Yep, 156. Yeah, she didn't tell us it would be a legal entry and we'd be arrested. I mean, we, we did just admit it, but we're telling you, there's a valid excuse, valid reason. Okay. Yeah, that's it sounds like a scam. Like a hundred years of cruel work or something. Ten thousand is one berry, and we need seventy billion. Seven million. But divide that by another ten, seven hundred thousand. We might have been able to pay that up front. Like we might have. I don't really know. I don't know our financial situation like that, you know? 
<laughs> We're not gonna argue, we'll just ignore you. Uh huh. Actually, uh, she might. Suspicion of fleeing? What are you gonna add vandalism? We found it like this, sir. These guys and their crimes, I tell you. Talk about keeping it under wraps for now, huh, Usa? He didn't say anything. He said, I'll uh, beat you. <laughs> I was going to say something else. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, some cloud couches. That would be lovely, you know? Damn, what could that be? Oh my god. And snapped the line at the last second. Shouts out Zoro saving Connie's the back end. Knock it out, not immediately kill it. What? Of course it is. Of course, of course. I don't know if I'd be able to live with these guys, the White Berets or the Straw Hats when it comes to these crazy ass laws. Like a crazy sky puffer fish. You don't cut it out, I'll cut you out. I guess that's what works. Talk about taking a nap. They all love sleeping. Producing noises. Are you serious? Nami, please get back so we can stop dealing with these guys. Yeah, that's where, yep. Yeah, that's where, yeah. It had Nami on your side up until you said 7 million berries. That's too much for her. Vanish to the clouds. A fifth degree crime is the death penalty. Sounds a little strict if you ask me. Just a little bit. They were banished there 200 years ago, yep. And then they just eventually fell. Bones and all. Accidentally? I know, right? Like, come on, go with the flow. Read the room. Interesting. Oh, 
I don't think we're going to be leaving, though. So I wonder what's going to make us stay. He wants to go to the Forbidden Lands. That's not how the world works, though. People do nothing wrong all the time and still get in trouble. So they're officially being arrested. We got like uh dial arrows, milky arrows, or like smoke arrows, cloud arrows. They're like solidified trails. Oh, that's kind of cool. I kind of like that. And they look like they're skating like gorilla, you know? Not the swords. It's so fluffy, it's hard to run. That's why it's probably easier to skate on it and just, you know, float, kind of. Those are kind of cool. Those are kind of neat. With the, with the dials on the side. Ooh, okay, formation. Yeah, launch himself. Oh, yeah, they've never seen my gum gum boy. I'm so used to it that I forget people get shook every time. Gum gum, what is this? Gum gum fireworks, just like these little snaps of fists and legs in every which direction. Like a little explosion of, of straight hands. Shouts out gum, and I love the sound effects so you can hear the fireworks. Shouts out gum gum fireworks. Yeah, gum gum pistol, gum gum battle axe, gum gum fireworks, gum gum bazooka. Ooh, Sanji, Zoro, that. Vanessa, that fly dresser. S -s -s Sanji? Yeah, I was wondering that earlier. They're broke. They defeated the White Berets? Yeah, because of the thin air, but it only took us a little bit of time. We got used to it. So the captain is conscious. He's up. Was he going to go snitch to any room? We're now second degree. That's the second highest, I'm assuming, you can have. I wonder what could be a, a beating up the police. The White Berets is the second degree. The priests of the upper yard. What is the... What's a, what's a first degree cr crime? God damn it. Okay, on to the next episode, episode 157. Yep, she needs to get beat up, sadly. I'll sue. Yeah, go get a, go get a, you and a, a lawyer. I mean, I wouldn't want to get them involved either. They're like the most wanted people in Skypea right now. Yeah, but it's one thing getting chased by the military, the navy, the marines, but God? <laughs> You're toxic for that one. I mean, no, to look for you, we definitely didn't want to adventure that at all. I mean, no. Life, then money, then a few other things, then adventure. <laughs> the next one. <laughs> is funny. Besides crashing down into the ocean, Alright, so we're officially gearing up to sail off. We're going either back home or we're going to the place where Eniru is, so I'd have to assume Eniru. 
<laughs> she puts on like the nice voice. Don't threaten him. <laughs> right back to sleeping. Look <laughs> at her face. <laughs> Good little way out of here. Something tells me we're not going to hit that immediately. Yeah, I don't think that's going to happen, but that's a nice little backup plan. Alright. I don't like that sweat drop coming down her face and i don't like the way robin was looking at her and i like i trust connie so i don't think she would purposefully lead us to a trap but i feel like maybe she's being extortioned or blackmailed or something you know i mean that's everyone though we couldn't find our place without nami we couldn't eat without without uh, sanji you know okay now we're just getting a little crazy just not even listening to him anymore Robin's uh taking it with a grain of salt like I am. Yeah, I don't think Connie has led them to the current they're thinking about, but I'm very curious what is actually gonna happen. Also that boy pulling up the anchor. That was nerve-wracking. What the hell is coming out of this white, white sea? It's gonna be a ginormous fish or monster, huh? You're so annoying, Sanji. You're so annoying. That means someone's dragging it. Someone or something is dragging it. Yeah, look how... Oh, oh yeah. Talk about a shadow. White, white sea. Oh, yeah. Super Express Lobster. But he's... Where's he taking us now? The lobster that brought us here, right? Are you going to be able to puncture the shell of that lobster? Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, I love the way they're animating that. That looks so sick, but I don't think he's piercing it. What the fuck? Now we have Sky Gyaradoses? Yes, but I'm just curious how Sanji, Usopp, and uh, Luffy are going to get there. Because we definitely need them. There's three very important squad members when it comes to fighting and dealing with threats, so... Jesus... Now, was Connie gonna admit she did this? I don't think the dad had anything to do with this. He was like, whoa, that's the express lobster. Yep, we're going to Upper Yard. Sacrificial altar? That's scary. The rest. <laughs> Not me, Robin, and the rest. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay. Hmm. And based on the judgment of these three, the punishment will be given out. Can't get to it on foot. Hmm. Yeah. Wow. That lobster has set a freeway as a whole fucking. This is our new goal. Take the Milky Road, go there, save the squad. Um, um, um. Four priests who are strong beyond imagination, plus any room, are waiting for you. Uh, yeah, a little simple-minded, but hey, that is... All we gotta do is beat them up. No convolution to it. Meanwhile, Dad and Connie are just nervous, Pagaya. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I want to see what any route looks like. That's what I'm curious. New ending? Already? I feel like I just got the last ending. Okay, Swaggy Zoro with the goggles. I'm Girl Robin, educating herself, drinking some tea. Come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh getting that bike workout in. Shouts out to that ending. The squad. Look how dippy they look. I need a whole arc with these fits. Alright, on to 158, the last episode of this session. Let's do it. He's like, damn, I didn't even think of that. You got me. We'll see about this. I still want to trust her. But I don't know. Mmm. See, I'm curious. And then this fucking dude. Meanwhile, we got Crawler Berets. And we still haven't really even talked about the race of these people. Are they humans? Are they angels? Why do they have like bug antennae, you know? <laughs> Luffy does not care at all. All of that, I mean, hey, talk about silver lining. Don't just grab something randomly, Luffy. That's kind of a cool elevator to take you to a dial shop, though. Wouldn't that be dope if we can get, like, a yeah, some big breath dials and not have to rely on wind anymore? Oh, there you go. What the hell is that? Didn't one of the White Berets say that name? Like, personally, crawling is, like, annoying. I hate crawling. Especially army crawling, too, like he's doing, you know? Like, ugh. Not that it's, like, anything bad with it. It's a good workout, but it's just, like, come on. I like that one with the little dragon head right there. I don't know what kind of head that is, but... Ooh. That's the one I like. With the, with the bull's head. Let's see it. Either gonna be amazing or trash. This dude is later three feet behind them. Oh, a little trash. Okay.
this guy's positioning is that luffy's instinct telling him that or is there another reason you know does he want to continue shopping like you really have i really have no idea when it comes to luffy's decision you could literally just be like oh no i detect something weird about this you know or something feels off yeah he just didn't like the ship he wants that one a bull's head <laughs> yeah You damn ingrate. Sanji is so funny. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> that is so funny. I'm glad he noticed. She is nervous. She you know it's a part of the plan obviously to send them to their death to get them out of their hair they're illegal entryers you know so but i can't really blame connie or her dad you know like all they want to do is live their normal lives you know day by day peaceful and you know technically we came and intruded on that this is their land we came so you know i'm not gonna blame them for wanting to kick us out yeah i just hope they don't get in trouble after we leave you know it, you don't realize though that in their minds they're sending you to death so it's not like helping you out it's like helping yeah she is nervous tell them tell them you're betraying them they think she's nervous because of how in trouble she might get whereas she's nervous because she's backstabbing them she wouldn't snitch would she come on connie tell us the truth so Pagaya is the one who who wanted it, you know. So Connie was very hesitant. She didn't initially want to do this. I mean, I really don't think Pagaya wants to do this really either. It's his will. They're just like I don't meet, want to make a reference that's like dark. I don't want to get political at all, but it's very similar to like the Holocaust when like Jewish neighbors, you know, even the people they've grown up around would turn on each other and snitch other people out for not only rewards and their benefit, but just to prevent any badness or danger coming to them. Like when it comes to protecting yours and your own, like you're going to, yeah. So this is not unrealistic by any means for people in situations like these, you know? technically though even though what they say they're doing is a betrayal of us yeah that's the only issue i have your friends were abducted on my call you know otherwise leading us to the upper yard like i'm cool with that like we kind of wanted to go there anyway that is kind of fucked up taking them hostage so that explains it so luffy's pissed but i don't know if mm, this is a very complex situation you know she obviously feels bad but she feels like she has a duty she feels like she might be in trouble obviously luffy's pissed Mm. Mm. Right. We're gonna do this in the middle of the docks on Lovely Street in the middle of downtown. See, that looks like it did not catastrophic catastrophic oh, okay that's pretty catastrophic damage that destroyed multiple buildings and infrastructure maybe not a little less than i thought okay but that spot they were just standing on eradicated 
Thankfully, Luffy ran away from Usopp and Sanji, so they're good. But Luffy and Connie. Oh my god. Talk about a chasm. Don't tell me they fell in that or they. I think. Uh, hopefully, they didn't get evaporated. Oh, the white fucking Sky Knight. Let's go. Gonfall, right? And Pierre. Now, where did, what is, roles do him and Gorilla play? This one is on the house. Oh, Luffy blew the whistle, huh? Did he? I don't know. You now know this land's true nature. What will you do now? May the force be with you. Anytime there's something that's may and then be with you, I always may the force be with you. Please tell us. I am the Sky Knight. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean? Please come back, Kami-sama. God, what does that mean? Eniru isn't the actual god? Gonfall is? So the boys are off. We're taking one of the Milky Roads on the Crow boat, and we are going to Eniru, the fake god. All right, we're getting deeper into Skypea. I am most excited about Eniru and the four priests. They seem like they're going to be like our crocodile and the rest of the Mr. One through four, like the Baroque works higher up agents. So they seem very strong. So does Eniru. So does Gonfall. So does Gorilla. I'm very curious. There's obviously a story there that happened a long time ago that we're late on. Uh, and by we, I mean like me, Sanji, the rest of the gang. So I consider myself a straw hat, you know, you know what I'm saying? Come on, guy. I'm a straw hat, too. Super enjoying this so far. Like I said, I need to know more about the story. I feel bad for Connie's and Pagaya and the situations they have to deal with. I feel for the rest of the citizens. I don't feel like even though this is God's land, Angel land, all that, that everyone's treated well. Like, obviously, if you don't listen to one of his laws, even at a fifth, what did he say, fifth degree criminal, you are punished by death. Like, that's crazy. Can't be having that. Cannot be having that. Overall, though, very excited to beat some ass and get our friends back. We still have, I believe, this is 158. I still think we got like 40, 30, 40 episodes of Skype left, which is crazy to me. Like, shouts out to the nonstop. Uh, yeah, we still got like 30 episodes left. Shouts out to the nonstop action and shit we've been getting. I've been loving it. Hopefully you guys have as well. If you have, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Make sure y'all check out the Patreon. Early access and full length up to eight episodes ahead. I appreciate y'all. Don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.